What am I gonna buy today? Everything. Everything? Everything. Okay, you said so. <laughs> Today I'm in Columbus, Ohio, visiting Big Fun. I was just here one year ago. I came and visited the store during PowerCon with my friends Robo and Veebs from The Foosh and Dan Larson from Secret Galaxy. We had a lot of fun checking out this store, but because we were here during PowerCon, there were a lot of people crammed into this tiny little store. And while it was awesome being here and seeing everything, I just remember it being so packed that we definitely felt like we couldn't see everything that the store had to offer. So I'm really happy to be here just on a random weekend to check out the store proper. And this store, let me tell you, is packed floor to ceiling with treasure. And that is no exaggeration. I mean, just look at the ceiling. You could see all the toys that they've got hanging there. Every nook and cranny is packed in tight with something. So if you really wanted to spend the time to do some digging, you could probably find some really cool treasures hidden all around this place. But of course, me being me, as soon as I walk in the door, my eyesight goes straight to the case that's filled with Masters of the Universe toys. I know what you're thinking. Why on earth do you always still go for the He-Man stuff? Don't you have all the He-Man toys? <laughs> and while it's true that I do have a lot of Masters of the Universe toys, that is my primary focus, the thing is, there's always little bits and pieces that I'm looking for. I'm always looking to upgrade current pieces in my collection or see if I can find something unique or different, something that I've never seen before. So it never hurts to look. Now, straight away while I'm looking in this case, my eyes focus on one thing specifically, and that is the Turbo Dactyl. I love the dinosaurs from the tail end of the vintage Masters of the Universe toy line, and Turbo Dactyl. Well, he's one that I'm currently on the lookout for, and there's a bit of a sad story to go along with it. So allow me to spin my terrible tale of my Turbo Dactyl. You see, when I was working on the Toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe book, a lot of the photos in there I was able to take with some of the pieces from my own collection. I don't have everything, and I had to rely on the fan community to help me out with finding and tracking down a lot of the things to photograph for this book. But one of the things that was one of my own items that I photographed was the Turbo Dactyl. And the day that I put him on the table and finished photographing him, well, I dropped him on the floor and his head shattered into pieces. Unfortunately, Turbo Dactyl is pretty well known for being made of some brittle, fragile plastic and it's one of the reasons why he's also a pretty expensive toy. So, the photo that you see in the toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe book, that is the final photo of my complete Turbodactyl. <laughs> so, I've been trying to look for a replacement ever since, so eventually we're gonna come back here and we're gonna ask about the price on this one. There's some other cool things in here catching my eye as well. I see a group of meteorbs here, and specifically, two of those are not meteorbs, but Bandai Tamagoras, the silver T-Rex, which I own at home, and the blue pterodactyl that I don't own. And then something really unique catches my eye. This is carnival glass. Are you at all familiar with what that is? Well, in the 80s and in the 90s, at fairs and carnivals all across the country, it was very common for these weird little framed, obviously bootlegged pictures to be prizes for several of the carny games. They always came in these little cardboard frames that had that same weird decorative design around it. And then there was a little piece of glass with some sort of image behind it, usually of pop culture characters or even famous bands. I definitely remember playing carnival games when I was younger, winning some of these. 
Uh, I have never seen a Masters of the Universe one of these before. And this one is really interesting to me because it's an image of She-Ra, but the logo and the other characters are on there are all clearly from He-Man. So bootlegged for sure, but definitely interesting. I'm gonna have to ask about this when we get this case opened up later as well. All right, let's move on from the He-Man case now. Uh, oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, my other love. Oh my goodness, there is so much going on in here, uh, but definitely some cool stuff that's catching my eye. We might have to swing back to this case later on as well. The G.I. Joe case is pretty fantastic, albeit a little overwhelming. Uh, I really like G.I. Joes, but I merely dabbled in Joes when I was younger, and the ones that I had were all 90s Joes, so they were, you know, bright, colorful neon. I think you guys understand why they're the ones I'm drawn to. But I also see a group of the Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat G.I. Joes in the case, which I always love seeing, even though I have most of these. Uh, I was such a big fan of these games at the time, so just seeing these toys makes me so nostalgic for that time period. Oh, also, Ninja Force Zartan? I love that bright orange mohawk. I also love this batch of figures. I believe they are Cores figures from Lanard, but the colors and the way they've got them grouped into this case definitely gives off this nice Power Rangers vibe here. And of course, lots of great Power Rangers and other fun stuff in this case as well. In fact, there is so much goodness all around this store. It is overwhelming to say the least. You can spend a lot of time just scouring this place and finding so much cool stuff. Sweet Secrets. Okay, so how many of you out there, like me, would see something that was part of a girl's line? And I put that in quotes because toys are for everybody, but clearly certain toys were marketed to girls, certain toys were marketed to boys. So when you saw some of these toys and you thought they were cool, you might have been embarrassed because you're like, I can't let anybody know that I like this girl's toy. Sweet Secrets was that for me. I mean, they were transforming little figures and their whole gimmick was that they had these shiny jewels on them and man, I just like shiny things. Sweet Secrets. My new Sweet Secrets jewelry has lots of wild new designs. New. Those cute new playmates inside. Sweet Secrets, always something new. New. Hiding inside for you. New jewelry from Galoob. So there you go. Now my sweet secret is out and you know that I like these. I don't own any of them and uh, I still don't because I'm not gonna pick this one up, but seeing it definitely reminded me of those old commercials and now that's stuck in my head. So I'm digging through some of the bins when I come across Z-Bots. Do you guys remember Z-Bots? Wait till you see all the new Z-Bots. Hey. For me? We got zillions of Z's for you. Z-Bots with real spikes. Z-Bots with a clobbering punch. Real cool. Hey, got a Z for me? We got Z-Bots with crushing claws. What a crush. Z-Bots with awesome armor. Z-Bots with wicked weapons and shark's teeth. Hey, got a Z for me? Yeah, take them all. Z-Bots, so cool. New Z-Bots figure packs. Each sold separately. New from Micro Machines. These figures came out in the 90s. It was always interesting to me that they were branded under the Micro Machines brand, uh, but they were put out by Galoob. I always thought these were so cool. I didn't really own a lot of them. As a kid, I think the only ones I really had were the ones that came in the Burger King kids meals. Uh, but over the years, I've always picked up one here and one there just because I think they're cool looking. And you know what? I think Big Fun has a Z for me. These are only a couple bucks. I think I'm gonna dig through here and pick out a few of them to add to the collection. Oh, here we are back at Trendmaster stuff again. <laughs> but Trendmaster's Godzilla. Uh, these are actually pretty cool. And you know, Godzilla toys, they just have a tendency to be expensive no matter who made them. They're just always pricey. But a while back, a few years ago, I picked up the Godzilla Force figures. You've never seen those before. They're essentially Power Rangers. They look like Power Rangers that fight Godzilla. It's an insane idea, 
but I thought the figures were so fun. This is one of those Godzilla Force toys, but instead of being a full action figure, it's a vehicle that comes with a little micro G-Force or Godzilla Force character. And also this vehicle apparently can plug onto the back of Mecha Godzilla from the same line. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I think I'm gonna add this to my pile today. One of these days I need to do a video about the Godzilla Force figures. They're just so weird. <laughs> Okay, I think we're gonna make our way back to this Masters of the Universe case and we're gonna have the owner open it up. I gotta check on the price of that Turbo Dactyl. Will it be coming home with me today? There's a box for that downstairs. It has a box? Oh, 500, okay, <laughs> yeah. Good morning. I, I knew he was, no, that's, a, I, I can't. <laughs> I knew he was gonna be a higher one. Oh, $500. That's a no. <laughs> Look, I told you guys that Turbodactyl was gonna be expensive. That was a little more than I was anticipating. However, he did say that he has the box. So this is like a full complete thing, uh, which definitely increases the price. So I get it. Uh, it's just not coming home with me today. I guess my hunt for a new Turbodactyl is going to have to continue. Hey, but while the case is open, something else is catching my eye. I see a complete screech in there. Oh, it's, I see what's on the, oh, 40, 40 for him. What are they? Okay. What are they? I think I'm gonna grab the screech then for awesome. sure. Yeah, so at least I'll grab that one. I've had screech in my collection for a long time. Mine is not complete. This is a solid upgrade. Seems like a good consolation for not buying the Turbo Deck. Okay, so we're gonna go back to that carnival glass now. He uh, lets me pull it out of the case, get a closer look at it, which is just, it's so cool, man. I just love weird stuff like this. Of course, when I flip it over, I see the price tag says that it is a $70 item, uh, which not something that I really wanna pay for this. However, the owner says that he has had it in his case for a very long time, so that is no longer the price on it. And he said that he would let it go for 50. I thought about it for a little bit, and you know what? I decided to take the plunge. Okay, so before we head out of here, I also need to open up that TMNT case because earlier I spotted a Metal Mutants Donatello that I'm definitely interested in. Missing the tail. Yeah. That's not too bad though. Can I take a look at it? Oh, it's got its instructions. It's got the instructions, yeah, that's cool. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and wrap things up at Big Fun today. It's time to check out and take home some of the cool toys that I purchased. This is an amazing place. And if you're ever in Columbus, Ohio, I absolutely recommend popping in and checking it out. Just give yourself enough time to look through it because it is crammed full of stuff. And hey, if you're coming to PowerCon this summer, that's also in Columbus, Ohio. And Big Fun is just down the street from the convention center. You can walk to it. You have even more reason to come out to PowerCon now. All right, so let's talk about my haul. What did I buy from Big Fun? Well, I went ahead and picked up a couple of those Z-Bots, adding a few of these cool minis to my collection. These were only priced at $2, and I think they are just so cool. I added that complete screech to my collection. Like I said, it is an upgrade, which is fantastic. Uh, needed to have one with the armor and with the perch, so I'm really happy to be bringing this guy home. I grabbed that Godzilla Force vehicle, that Trend Masters toy. Uh, again, this is just so cool. I don't run into these very often. I decided that I wanted to bring it home to add it to the rest of the Godzilla Force figures that I already have. And yes, I did purchase the She-Ra or Masters of the Universe Carnival Glass. I know some of you are wondering why I would spend $50 on this, but let me tell you, I just love weird, obscure merchandise like this. I have never seen one of these before, so I am very happy to be bringing this home with me. And also, as an added bonus, the owner threw in that blue Bondi Tamagoras Pterodactyl. So that was a nice plus to add to that Carnival Glass purchase uh, because I did not already have this one at home. And I grabbed that Metal Mutants Donatello. 
I am so excited to be adding this one to my collection. I love the Metal Mutants. I have a complete Shredder and Leonardo at home already. I have a Raphael that's missing his feet and his helmet. This Donatello here is near complete with the only thing that was missing was the tail, which is also the weapon when he's in turtle form, uh, but it also included his instructions. So it's gonna display great. Maybe I can find that tail piece later on down the road, but for now, this is gonna look really good on my TMNT shiny shelf. So there you go, my friends, a toy hunt at Big Fun. I had a blast, dare I say, I had big fun at Big Fun. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for watching this video. Hey, I hope you've been enjoying this new format for the toy hunts. I've been having a lot of fun sitting down and actually telling stories about these trips. So hopefully you guys are enjoying watching it. Definitely leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And hey, if you guys are in a position and you wanna help out the channel, I do have a Patreon. Special thanks to all the names you see scrolling on the screen right now. Uh, for those of you that become a Patreon member, I do often post videos early so that you can watch them before they go public. But regardless of how you choose to help out the channel, even if it's just by watching these videos, thank you guys so very much. I appreciate every single one of you. And until next time.